This is how to write a simple Python program in, in Blender. And this is how to automate uh, commands in uh, Blender with Python. Script. So for that, we definitely have to uh, start Blender in this little strange way. So we have to go in and start it from out the terminal. So our errors and our prints get to this uh, terminal. That's important. So now we have our environment, standard environment. So go for this info panel. We uh, seen that in the info panel we get commands of whatever we're doing. So we get the Python commands. And now we want to put that to the text editor for our program. There's a text editor. Make it a little more comfortable to for coding. So that's here. Now take this, create a new document, and copy it. To run it, we need to say this that this is a Python um, text, and by simply saying import Blender Python at the first sentence. Then put that and run the script. And that's the first program. So now we can, for example, this is too much. Here, the layer information, we don't need it. We don't want to have it. So this is a compact command. That's it. Now we want to define a function to create more of, multiple of these objects. So we can look it up. Um, docs, write an org. We have the tutorials here, and uh, these are all the different kind of commands. So here's uh, defining functions. This is how uh, this works. So it's called with def, then you have the name, obviously, the parameters, and uh, then you have a double point, and then the body of this function is has an inset with a tab, and it's the same scheme with, for example, this while loop, go here, then there's a condition, and then again a double point, and then two tabs, commands, commands, and then the, this body of the while ends with a command with only one tab. And by that, this definition ends. So the call of a function is just this name plus round brackets with the parameter. So let's uh, do the similar thing. So define, we say we want to create a cube and we want to have it at a certain point. So now inset with one tab. This is done automatically with our uh, preferences here. Then we want to take this command and to the body of this function. And these numbers here, this vector should be the point. This should be our function. Go back. The function call was Create cube with three o o, for example. So this should work. Here we are. Create a second one. Create cube uh, zero zero. Another sub cube zero zero zero. And run it and here we are okay now um, go for a for while loop to make an array of of cubes to get a little more used to the syntax of of blender so go for the documentation we had it here there's a for statement 
for example here for i in range 5 print so that's uh, super simple so again the scheme so for i in range 5 so this would make 5 of our create cube and uh, that's it so but we want to have now we want to go for, for vectors and we want to add uh, a vector to this vector so we can check how this works with the Python console as we added in another short tutorial so if I say if I go for <coughs> uh, 3 00 plus 5 Oh, oh, this makes, this adds the list, so it's not an addition on a vector. So therefore we have to define these as vectors. And this is done with the math util. So look for, so we need a blender math util. And then directly for vector, go there. So math util documentation, here we are. Well, this is not a good one. Here, this is nice. So the math mathematics utilities. So we need this import. Import math utils. Just start to do that. We can have a second line of import or simply put that. So continue. And uh, then where is an example? Here is an example. So with, with this line, method vector, we define that as a vector. So copy that. So say vector is method tils, and we put it to 0, 0, 0, or we add it with 3. So that's a vector. So and try, make that. And we want to keep that for later. So then, for example, we can say print vector plus vector. So vector then is, a, is defined as a vector, as a certain structure, and then we add for example there's a translation of a vector by another vector or in this time, uh, time the same now let's uh, run this script nothing happens but we see in our console this is the print output and you see it's the addition so that's working so let's uh, go for um, the create cube Create cube, whether this is working, create cube of a vector, whether this is uh, working. It's here, okay. Create a cube vector plus vector. This is working as well. Okay, we are happy with that. So we can take this, put it to the four, give that a tap, so then we have it here. So I, or we call it, say this is in Z, in X direction, range 5, create cube. And this is vector plus, we make another vector. Copy, base, um, um, dx, delta x, 3, start with 0 here. So this is the first vector is 0, 0. Then the delta is uh, 3. Which means, make a comment to the print for x in this vector plus dx multiplied by x. So this makes five, five rounds and makes a cube and have a delta. Depending on x, x goes from 
uh, one to five or from zero to five and then <coughs> uh, rep, uh, calculates a new vector and a new insertion point for our cube. So test it. Here we are. Yeah. So that's nice. Let's do the same for the y direction. Go here. This is the automation right? I'm talking of. What code is good for? Go here, obviously. So now we have x. We go for y. We get another vector here. And then y dy zero three plus dy times y. This should be all. Yes. Great. This is what I want to show. Thanks.